Hello, Davina here and welcome to another tutorial in the series from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. We're still looking at another selection tool and today you're going to create this. And what it is, it's a pepper and putting it onto a gradient background going from dark grey to white and then turning it into a silhouette using the magic, well I call it the magic scissors, it's the scissors select tool but I think it's magic. Okay so this is the completed object. I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to bring in the pepper. So this is what we're going to do. I'm also, before we start, I'm going to open another window, another piece of paper if you like, and it's new and these are the dimensions of here and I'm going to use that. One thing I do want to point out, it defaults to 72 pixels per inch. That's fine for the web, but if you want to print out your picture, what you must do is go into the advanced options, keep the lock here because that keeps those constrained and then pop in 300 and as you can see you don't have to do the other it automatically does it and save say okay that's going to be behind there so what we need to do is make it bigger now it is 33 we'll do it 50 and uh, double click on the scissors tool and what you do is click on there and we're just going to go around the outline but the great thing is if we do that we'll sort that out in a minute but it picks up the difference the contrast between the background and this and that's where it's ideal for something like this if you had a lot of color there it would be more difficult so we'll just quickly go around I'm going to put that there just to show you what it we can do after and it is it's a matter of just clicking and I think it's a great tool it does all work all the work for you and it goes round and when we come to the top here just click on it and I'm going to put you can put another circle in and just push that up there you can alter this if you want to and I'm going to push that one in this one's a little just tweak it where you think fit and when you're happy with that I'm going to press enter and you made your selection what I'm now going to do is cut out the background and turn it into a transparent background but of course with it being a JPEG it's got white so we've got to add a transparent layer so it's layer transparency and alpha channel. We have selected this but I want to get rid of that so we go up to select and invert or control L. So we're now selecting the background and it's delete. I'm now going to copy this but bear in mind that what we've got selected at the moment is the background so we want to take, go back to select invert again so we've got the pepper and then I'm going to edit and copy visible. If we hadn't have changed the selection to invert we'd have copied the background and nothing would have been there. I know I've done it. Okay so I'm going to move that out of the way, come up to this one, let's make it a little bigger and then go to this one and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give it a gradient and it's the blend tool. The way you determine the colour is here and if you want to change it which I'm going to do is double click to bring that in and I'm going to choose a darker grey so we've got a bit of a contrast and if you're happy with it click there and OK. Double click on the blend tool hold down the, sh the sorry control key to get a straight line 
and click and drag to about there and you get from dark to light. We've still got our image to paste in so we go to edit and paste into and there it is. Before we change the floating selection into a new layer what I'm going to do is make this into a silhouette and this is so easy because we've got the marching ants. Double click on the pen tool to bring this back to dark black which is what I want just press D on the keyboard and with your brush just paint and you can be as wild as you like because it's only going to fill in there. That done I'm now going to turn that into a, a permanent layer, new layer. If you want to move it around double click on the move tool, click on the selection and move it down. When you're happy with it go up to image and merge visible layers and click merge and there you have your silhouetted pepper on a gradient background and all you need to do then is save it as we talked about before run save as and whatever you want wherever you want the extension if you merge the layers would be a jpeg or a png I'm going to cancel that and it's as easy as that and I hope you've enjoyed this very short tutorial we'd love to hear your comments if you've got any questions suggestions comments about it come over to our fan page and you'll see the details below see you in the next tutorial bye bye